Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you for joining me in Poodles Advent Countdown. These are two projects a week coming out to you all the way through and into December for a total of 24 because it's Advent. And they are all obviously Christmassy focused. I can't remember what number we're on now. Five, I think. But I have got a little gift bag for you. I figured this was sort of like a... Um, well, anybody who's into Father Christmas and elves and the like, but actually I thought this was a great sort of kids Christmas bag, something like that. It just pinches close at the top, little handle, little bit of die cutting. And if you're like me, you've got multiple children in the family. Lost count of how many nephews and nieces I have now, including my own four children. You don't necessarily want to do tons and tons of stamping. Sometimes you just want to cut the bag, do a little die cutting and go. And actually because these are our dies, the Santa signpost framelits do match paper. It's all done for us. Obviously, yes, you can stamp if you want to. I'm going to die cut. Why is my battery zonking out already? That's weird. It's been charging all night. Okay, piece of paper that's 12 by 12. So this is the Santa's Workshop paper. I love it because it's double-sided. I love it because it's such a lot of fun. I just love it. Right, so on the long side, you need to start with it the right way up so that you can see the image correctly. On this side, you're going to score it at one and a half, and I'll tell you the dimensions of the box in a second. One and a half, five and three quarters, seven and a quarter, and eleven and a half inches. And in metric, that is four, fourteen and a half, eighteen and a half, and twenty-nine. And then turn it round so you've turned it 90 degrees to the right and score it at one and a half inches, which is four, yep, four centimetres. And then turn it over and score it at ten and a half, which is 26 and a half. Okay, so the finished dimensions of the bag, it finishes up nine inches tall four and a quarter inches wide, one and a half inches deep. So that's 22 and a half centimetres tall, 10 and a half across there, and four centimetres that way. Good size bag. Okay, so, fold and burnish. Seriously, why has my battery gone from hero to zero? It was full, unless, well, I'm assuming it was full. It's been charging all night, so I'm assuming it's full. It's just gone down to one bar. Speedy crafting ahead of us, right? Okay. So that's the bottom of the bag. So this is the one that was, I turned it over and you need to send that in the other direction so that you get the nice little edge popping around. And if you need to reinforce your score line there, do. That one. Right, so, gorgeous box in the making. Let's trim some bits off. So down here at the bottom, we've got a little rectangle there. So trim that off. Oh, oh. Ew. Let's have a different pair of scissors. That's better. That might possibly be my little boy who was building boxes for me the other day, as in cardboard boxes for posting stuff, and he used my good scissors for the sellotape. He was a really good help. I'd given him kitchen scissors. Didn't realise he was using my good scissors. Anyway. Right, so, run some tape down here. Oh, I'm getting low on the tearing tape. Might have to whiz over to my other drawer and get some more. Did you see my picture on Instagram of my very well stocked glue drawer? I have to have spares. I can't possibly be the only one that has, oh yes, see, look, that has a drawer. If I could bring the drawer over and show you, I would, but I'd never get it out. I can't get it out. Oh, throw it on the floor. Yeah, you know, I can't actually remove the drawer from, otherwise I'd show you, but it's gorgeous. If not, go and have a look on my Instagram page. 
I'm not alone. I did think I might possibly be the only one who's got like 20 rolls of tear and tape, but lots of other people said yes, them too. So I'm running tear and tape down this little tab, this little tab here. And it will fold up beautifully and match. Oh, that needs a. Ooh, got a little gape there. Okay, mini glue dot will do. Ha ha, stuck down. Okay, so this is the back, so that's where my seam is. So I'm going to pull my two sides in and the back and get some more tear and tape on here. That's it built up. So you just need to gently push, push in just the top bead. I don't want it all the way down. I just want the top bit going in. Uh, my little handheld punch. I want to say this is a quarter of an inch, but I think it might be an eighth of an inch. Um, not too close to the centre, but you don't want to go through. Let me bring this around so you can see. So that's too close to the middle there. So you want it over, but not so that you're punching through one, two, three, four layers. So just kind of nearby. And my ribbon, my glorious, lovely ribbon. Oh, I could put a red on this one, actually. Ooh, oh, I don't remember which red this one is. Neither, it's Poppy Parade. Is that Poppy Parade? It is. Ooh, let's have this one. Right, get hold of that, and I'm just going to get a rough length of handle that I want. And I want my knot to go inside so that's why I'm feeding sort of I went through both parts on the first pass through with the ribbon. But now I'm going to pull it so that that's on the inside and I can get a knot in it. and tight and just nick off those nasty ends and then that goes in there nicely I'll have to fiddle around with the ribbon because I've managed to twist it somewhere but that's that done so now it's just a case of die cutting so okay so I've got a sheet of beautiful ribbon now if you haven't seen this you haven't talked seen heard me talk about it it is flocked paper so in various parts, so on this one, what's flocked on this one? Oh, it's not all of it, but I've cut Father Christmas and an elf and his, the f fuzzy bits of their hat and the bobble, they're flocked. And all of this, I can feel it all over. There's little snowballs, um, Merry Christmases, Pinny, all of these, the snow, lovely. So we had Father Christmas on the first bag, so I reckon we'll have Merry Christmas, and I reckon I can <laughs> get her from right down at the bottom. Can I get all of her? Oh, yes, I can. Uh, oh, my mini glue dots on the floor. I think I want, well, I don't know which one I want. I think I'm going to go red, because so I'm going to have this little elf down here. I think. Yeah, so I'm going to go with those two. Well, actually, I can take him from that side. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas. Has nobody heard of this one? I did ask this last year. Father Christmas is married to Merry Christmas. Isn't he? I'm sure he is. 
<laughs> Every year, the great debate. Father Christmas or Santa Claus? I'm British. It's Father Christmas. Three out of four of my children call him Father Christmas. My smallest calls him Santa. It travelled across the world. And we now have a Santa in our house. Okay. It's a Merry Christmas and an elf. I'm running them through my big shot. I'm not going to bring it onto the on camera because I'll just end up wiping out my tripod. It's one of those days. So that's that little elf cut out. And Mary. It's Merry Christmas because it's Merry Christmas. I mean, that's just obvious, isn't it? You're all laughing at me thinking, she's mad. <laughs> okay, so I just want to pop these up now. So let me grab some dimensionals. Oh, new packet. Oh, no, I've got one started. So, couple on her. Just double check my front and back. There's the back. Elf has got a very cheeky look on his face. Either that or she's just said to him, there's cookies and milk over there, go get them, and he's running. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me and my chattery waffle. Um, I hope you like the bags. Speak to you very soon. Bye.